New on the night beat, a pastor of an east side church is devastated after discovering a car had crashed into his church building this afternoon. As the night team's Jaffney Gray reports, the driver is still on the run tonight. It has destroyed the furniture and computers and desks and everything. It just, I mean, just imagine a car backing into your house. Sunday service in Mount Gilead Baptist Church on East Crockett Street ended around 3 this afternoon. After everyone left, Pastor Robert Forte says he got a call from the church's security system less than 30 minutes later. When we got here, the monster was in the building still in the building. Nobody was in it, but there was still here in the building. Based on these photos taken by different church members, it appears this silver Mazda pulled into the parking lot and backed into the building at a high rate of speed. The driver nowhere to be found, leaving behind thousands of dollars worth of damage. Not only did that car crash through the outer brick wall to the church, going through these strong bricks, but also crashed through this wall and this wall, destroying the administration office and part of the library. And we're hoping that we can salvage at least those records. Some of the books that may have been damaged in here, we may not ever be able to get them back. Forte says police told him this is a criminal mischief case. Had he stayed around, he might would have been able to explain to the police what happened. I lost control or something. He says though he hates that this happened, he can only pray the driver is okay. I'm more concerned about the person who did it than the damage that has been done. You can destroy the temple. What you can't destroy is the faith. Now, since the crash, the building has been secured, as you can see behind me. Pastor Forte said, though this is a major loss to their congregation, they will continue to have their normal services. As far as the person responsible for this, if you have any information that can help detectives get to the bottom of this investigation, you're urged to call police as soon as possible. Jaffney Gray, KSAT 12 News.